This time we're going to take a look at making a paracord belt. The technique we're going to use here is called the slats rescue belt technique and it has a number of benefits. It doesn't require any tools or a jig to be made. It's quick deployable, meaning that you can unravel it in seconds. You can work directly from a hank, meaning you don't need to measure out any cord to make it. It does store up a large amount of cord and you can make it as wide or long as you want. We're going to get a buckle as well as some cord and we're going to start by wrapping or attaching our cord to the buckle. You can use any type of buckle, be it side release or just a normal metal one. And what we're going to do is wrap it around a few times, making loose loops. You don't need to tighten them yet. I'm going to make five loops here. If you have a wider buckle, you can use more or if you have a smaller one, you can use less. And I'm going to tuck this end through the loops. And by doing this, I've effectively finished one end. You can place a half hitch here to prevent the end from entering the loops again, or just melt it down. Now with the other end, our working end, we're going to make a bite, basically like this, and we're going to tuck it under the loops. This is the first step in the technique. We feed it under the loops. Then we're going to retighten the loops. At this point you could make a half hitch here, as I mentioned before, to finish one end. And now we're going to spread these loops apart and we're going to pull out four new loops. Not five, four, because one is already made at the start. So basically we're going to pull out four loops. Now we're going to make sure that we twist our loops so that the front side is the one that's nearest to the working end. And I'm going to fold the working end like I did before and I'm going to insert it through the loops. Again, I stress that it's very important that you keep the working end and the front of the loop together. This is the most common mistake people do with this type of belt and it doesn't look as it should if you don't do this. And once you've done that, we're again going to tighten the loops. Starting from the left, coming into the right. You can tighten them as firmly as you want. I suggest quite firmly. So like this. Then pull it 
through the last loop that's also the next loop in the series so this completes one one line or section to continue we're again going to pull on the chord to make new loops and again we're going to insert the folded working end through them you can also imagine that you're basically putting the working end under the loops and we've completed another section we just need to tighten it up again so we're going to start on the left pulling on each of the loops to tighten it some twisting will occur so this is going to be a good practice for you to untwist cord after we've tightened the last loop simply pull again this cord to the left and out to the right if you have too much on the left okay so a new section complete and we would continue this by again pulling out a new series of loops and then feeding the the folded working end through them I'm going to make a few a few more sections and then I'm going to show you how it looks like I've made a nice little section and I wanted to again show you how the technique works just to make sure that you know how it looks like and you're going to see that I'm going a lot faster now because once you get this technique down it's actually very fast at the start you're going to be a bit slower but once you've done a few rows you're going to get faster and faster so I went a bit slowly here and this section took me about 45 seconds to make not even that okay I've completed the land that I want and I wanted to show you how to attach the other end of the buckle if you're using one I'm going to use a lacing needle as well, it's not needed at all. So I'm going to basically wrap the buckle and I'm going to pass through the parts where the loop would be in our previous sections. So basically I'm pulling this cord through the loops that we would make Finally, we're going to go through the last loop and at this point 
you can retighten these loops that we attach the buckle with and make a hair hitch. If you want to quick deploy this belt, simply remove one buckle side and then pull on the cord to remove as much cord as you want. So guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.